The Code, written by Kevin Beals. Does the title of the book make you wonder what the code means? Where do we get our traits from? We inherit traits from our birth parents, and we're like them in a lot of ways. It's more complicated than that, though. We're different from our birth parents in a lot of ways, too. Find out how we inherit traits and where they come from. It's all because of a code. Knowing more about the code will help us answer the question. Why do offspring have similar traits to their parents, but not always to each other? Glossary Cells, evidence, genes, inherit, observe, offspring, organism, reproduce, species, trait, variation. Different but similar. If you look at people around you, you'll observe that no two people are exactly the same. The differences between us are called variation. Of all the people in the world, and all the people who have ever lived, no two people have been exactly the same. That includes you. How are these faces similar? How are they different? Still, you'll also observe that people are the same in many ways. We are all the same species. We have many similar traits. We usually have lots of hair on our heads, but not on our noses. We have two eyes that face forward. We have hands that can pick things up. We talk to each other and live in groups. Traits like these are similar in all people. Where do our traits come from? Inherited Traits Many of our traits are passed down to us by our birth parents. Birth parents reproduce and give birth to offspring, children. We are the offspring of our birth parents. Everybody has, or once had, birth parents. Some of us live with our birth parents. Some of us live with other people. Even if we never meet our birth parents, they have passed traits down to us. Traits we inherit from our birth parents are called inherited traits. Some of our inherited traits show lots of variation. These include traits like hair color, eye color, and nose shape. Other inherited traits are the same in all people. We all have eyes, a nose, and a mouth. Either way, inherited traits are passed down through a code. The Code You are made up of millions of tiny cells. Inside almost every one of those cells is your code. This code isn't in writing. It's too small to see, except with special tools. This code is made of genes. These genes are the instructions for how to make your body. Even before you were born, your genes told your body how to grow. Your genes told your body what color to make your eyes and hair and what shape to make your nose. All of your inherited traits came from the genes in your code. This picture shows the structure of DNA. Your body makes new cells all the time. Every time your body makes new cells. It makes new copies of your genes too. Every copy of your genes has instructions for all of your inherited traits. Your genes are in almost every cell of your body. Cells are so tiny, you need a microscope to see them. 
This photo of a skin cell was taken through a microscope. Where you got your genes. Your birth parents reproduced and made offspring. You. One cell from your birth mother and one cell from your birth father came together to make you. The cell from your birth father had some of his genes in it, and the cell from your birth mother had some of her genes in it. Those two cells combined to make one new cell with genes from both parents. Every cell in your body grew from that original cell. Each new cell had a copy of the genes you got from your birth parents when they reproduced. Where you got your genes. This helps us understand why offspring often look like their birth parents. Offspring inherit genes and traits from both parents. But offspring don't necessarily look like a perfect combination of their mother and father. The code is not that simple. Sometimes offspring look more like their birth mother. Sometimes offspring look more like their birth father. Either way, offspring inherit instructions for each trait from both of their parents. The genes your birth parents passed down to you had to come from somewhere. Your birth parents inherited genes from their birth parents, your grandparents, and your parents' parents inherited genes from their parents. This has been happening the whole time that people have been around. Parts of your code come from every generation that came before you. You have genes from your parents, your grandparents, your great-grandparents, your great-great-grandparents, and so on. Through these genes, you have inherited traits from them, too. You have genes in common with your grandparents. You have genes in common with people who lived long ago. You have genes in common with everyone who is related to you. Your whole family has genes in common. You also have genes in common with every person living on earth. We have all inherited some genes from people who lived long ago. The genes have been passed down from generation to generation throughout history. That's what makes us all similar. Where you got your genes. Identical twins have genes that are the same. What if two people have genes that are the same? Identical twins inherit the same genes and the same traits, but that doesn't make them the same person. Identical twins have different personalities. They may act very differently and do different things. Genes are not the only things that make us who we are. Our genes make us similar in many ways, but we are also different from one another. One reason we are different is that genes we get from our parents can be combined in so many ways. The combination changes every time a new person is born. That's why there can be variation in traits between offspring of the same parents. Different offspring can inherit different instructions from their parents. That means the offspring will have different traits. A new mix of genes means that each person has a unique set of traits. That set of traits is different from the traits of the person's parents, the person's grandparents, and all the people who have lived before. Different genes help make us different. Observing Traits Look at yourself in the mirror. You can observe some inherited traits, such as eye color and the shape of your face. You were born with these traits because they come from your genes. 
What inherited traits can you observe when you look at yourself? What traits do you have that all other people have? We all have eyes, hair, a nose, and a mouth. Wait a minute, so does a bear. So does a cat, or a dog, or a mouse. Do those traits come from the code too? What traits do the bear and the girl have in common? The code is everywhere. All living things have some genes in common. People are not the only species with genes. All organisms have genes. That includes fish, birds, ants, bears, trees, and grass. The genes inside these organisms provide instructions for their traits. Scientists who study the genes of different species have made interesting discoveries. They have found that people have lots of genes in common with cats, bears, and other mammal species. These genes mean that people and other mammals have many similar traits, such as growing hair. That's not all. Scientists have discovered that people also have many of the same genes found in lizards. People have some of the same genes found in worms, too. These genes mean that people and worms have traits in common, such as muscles. People even have some genes in common with plants. In fact, all organisms have some genes in common. This is evidence that all organisms are related. The more genes two species have in common, the more closely they are related. There's so much variation in living things. Worms, grass, people, snakes, and bees. It's amazing that we're all related. We may be different in many ways, but in our genes, we all have parts of the same code. Glossary. Cells, tiny parts that make up living things. Evidence, information that supports an answer to a question. Genes, instructions for making a living thing that are in cells and passed from parents to offspring. Inherit, to get something that is passed down. Observe, to use any of the five senses to gather information about something. Offspring, living things that come from parents. Organism, a living thing, such as a plant or an animal. Reproduce, to make offspring. Species, a group of organisms that are closely related to each other. Trait, something that can be observed about an organism, such as color or size. Variation.